In this video, we're going to go from this to this using this. Okay, so my battery has been giving me issues. As you can see down here, while the battery will charge up, hold a charge, and actually last a pretty good while while unplugged, the software has no idea how much time is left on it. So I'm thinking maybe the circuit for it that shows how much charge that it has has gone bad. I've tried several things to, to reset it, the whole deal of running it out of power, charging it back up, running it out of power, charging it back up, running out of power and charging it back up and it did no good in this case. Again, it still last several hours, but um, you had no idea when it was gonna just crash on you. So finally, uh, gave up and decided to replace the batteries so it will show correctly how much charge it has left. And of course, some batteries, you may have no charge. I know in the past I've had laptops that the battery got bad and it would only last like six minutes and then die. So for whatever reason you need to replace your battery, this will show you how to do it on a Toshiba Satellite A55. S55? I don't know. What is this thing? S55D. So this will show you how to do it on an S55D. So I'm going to go ahead and close everything out. Of course, power it down. And I've already got the power disconnected from it. That's how you're able to see the battery error that I had before. This little kit that I bought off of Amazon is uh, quite interesting. Got a little manual here uh, talking about the procedure that I just mentioned of, of unplugging it, letting the battery completely drain till it dies, and then plugging it back in. And it does tell you you need to do that at least every three months or so. So basically, if you keep your laptop plugged in all the time, you may be losing battery life because of it. So unplug it every once in a while. Also in this box is a little screwdriver kit. And of course, the battery. So let's go ahead and flip this thing over and get started replacing the battery. Now some batteries, oops. Now some laptops, you just simply just take this piece out right here and the battery slides out. This one's more integrated into the laptop so I'll have to take all these screws off off of here to take this panel off. By the way it's a good idea to have a cup or something handy to put these screws in so you don't lose them as you take them out. I will provide a link to this battery that I am using but of course it's going to vary by model so Make sure you look up the correct battery for your specific application. Also, I have a couple other videos on here that you might be interested in if you have a Toshiba Satellite laptop. I've upgraded the hard drive to a solid state drive. Uh, replaced this, the CD-ROM drive, with a um, with an actual hard drive. There's a little caddy kit you can get for that. have a video on that as well. And the memory, too. So, I've been doing... A little bit of upgrades on the on the little laptop. Okay, so to, to get the cover off on this laptop, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen screws. I think I've pointed them all out. But anyway, take them all off, then slowly separate the cover from the laptop because you probably forgot one somewhere by the way there's the, uh, the hard drive caddy I was speaking of earlier Go ahead and slide that out there we go okay got the cover lifted off and here is the battery. It has served me well by the way. So it looks like there's a couple screws that got to come out for the battery. By the way it's always a good idea to use a static wrist strap. An anti-static wrist strap. So I just kind of want to compare it real quick. Yep. 
Okay, so take these screws off right here. Okay, then I'll lift the battery out. Looks like there's a couple of hitchhikers here. Carefully unplug the battery. Okay, got the new battery plugged in. Some sticky tape there. I always leave the screws loose as I put them in and then come back and tighten them down in case you've got to maneuver it around a little bit to get something to fit. Probably not much of an issue with this. Just kind of an old habit. Okay, once you get the battery screwed in, the wires pushed down out of the way. Of course, just simply put the cover back on. Oh, and be sure to dispose of your battery according to state, federal, local laws. Don't just throw these things in the trash can and start a fire. Okay, uh, plug it in and let it charge for a bit. It looks like the battery is functioning correctly. It's showing that it has 90% charge on it, so that's a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and let it charge up to 100% and we'll see, see how it works. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching. Okay, so my... Oh.